Hey folks, I just wanted to do a, a quick update for you on the garden. Uh, tomatoes are looking really good. I'm very impressed with this uh, tomato here. Uh, it is called Brad's Crazy Cherry. I don't think I've ever seen so many blossoms on one branch um, before. Uh, everything seems to be setting up really well with it. We got some other other types of uh, Tomatoes growing uh, new this year. This is a black vernessage, um, unlike the green vernessage we had last year. Um, this is also called a, a black beauty uh, tomato. Uh, you can see, uh, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it's a very dark stem. Um, you can see some shades of purple inside of there. Uh, the tomato is almost black when it's ripe. Um, of course, we've got uh, atomic grape scattered in here, black cherry, uh, Cherokee purple. Um, some of our other favorites. I got uh, scattered here a little bit of uh, uh, butternut squash and we got some sweet corn popping up. Lemon squash um, slowly coming up here at the bottom and then we got some zucchini. It's probably spaced way too close together but I'll probably thin them out. It just depends on which ones are doing good which ones aren't. Uh, over here in this other bed uh, we've got 60 tomatoes planted. Uh, San Marzano uh, on this side and some opalaca on this side. We grew opalaca last year. Some really good uh, paste tomatoes. Um, but from what I told, uh, there's nothing nothing better than a, a set marzetto. So we're growing those varieties this year. Very healthy plant. Um, haven't really had any problems yet with them. Um, everything looks really good. They've shot right up. Everything's getting getting pretty good here. The sun started getting out and the temperature's rising. I um, also have some also some black cherry um, scattered in here. Um, some really scrawny looking uh, loofah plants, but I, I'm sure those will pop back up. Red potatoes have kind of laid flat uh, here. Uh, after a lot of the storms we've had, the, the flowers have already uh, started coming out. So I'm, I imagine here in just a few weeks, we'll be able to pull these up. Um, they're, they're pushing up for the dirt um, a little bit, uh, the potatoes themselves. So let's see if I can show you. Well, can't really show you yet, but. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a really good crop, probably the best crop of uh, red potatoes that we've ever had. Uh, I got a couple of things here, just planted real quick. So I'm going to be transplanting. Um, these are sweet potatoes. These are um, uh, Molokai sweet potatoes. They're, they they come uh, a purple sweet potato. I'm kind of transplanted here in, here in this bed so they can get acclimated to the weather. When I harvest the red potatoes, I'll be moving these transplants in um, and... Uh, Hopefully uh, get them to grow the entire length of the bed. Um, they, if they're anything like the centennials that we usually grow um, here in Georgia, um, they should they should shoot off and be able to cover this uh, entire bed with just about two slips. Uh, chives are growing really good. Um, sort of flying out this year. Um, it's about the second year we've had them. This is the Georgia basil. Um, we had three inches of snow this year and everything's come back from that. We got some chamomile um, coming up. We got some dill growing, some cilantro, uh, a little patch of thyme from, that I grew from seed this year, this uh, January. Um, now it's you know it's uh, mid-April, so everything's going good with that. Um, it smells really good. And of course, this is our huge oregano that's just basically taken over. Um, uh, this is uh, the second year um, that this has come back. This came back from the snow too. A little bit of basil, um, a little common basil here that we use uh, in our sauces. Um, that'll that'll start springing up. And of course, we got this big, big, big asparagus patch. That's the second year that we've had it. Uh, um, so next year we'll start harvesting some of it, so the stems will be thicker. Uh, we've got a little bit of um, orange glow uh, watermelons that are I just transplanted last a uh, few days ago. So hopefully those start taking off. And this is our new bed that we grew this year. Um, we got a bunch of uh, Kentucky Wonder beans here and some royal purple uh, beans. This one's a, a vining bean and, and those are bush. Um, uh, Kawano jelly melon, uh, some random cucumbers that don't look too... <laughs> I transplanted this one and these two from growing from cedar looking okay. So they'll, they'll here, in a, here in a few weeks, they'll start. We'll put them up in a trellis and get them going. Um, Peppers, um, probably close, <laughs> planted way too close together, but we got bells, jalapenos, and some bananas right here. Uh, and they, they seem to be doing fine. Uh, a couple of sprigs of ginger that are showing up uh, that I, I've got from transplants. And then we've got some ginger planted underneath here that are, is popping up. 
in those two locations. So those will look good. Um, also, here in the back, that's turmeric that's showing up. Just started popping up here today. So um, that's going to be awesome. Um, I'm sure this stuff is going to get, you know, two or three feet high. Um, by the end of the summer, I'll be able to harvest this stuff and dry it and use it in the kitchen. It'll be a really good spice to use. Um, so that's it, everybody. Um, sorry it's been so long since the last update, but uh, we'll keep you, keep you posted on how everything goes the, the rest of this year. Thanks.